the last in our Spanish series. And where are you today? We're, We're in, in Salou. Salou. That's right, Salou on the Costa Dorada in Spain. We're here to visit my niece Ella and for her to make her annual appearance on Postcard and a Pint. So there'll be magic and mayhem, dancing and drunkards, and a beach so busy even the sand is asking for personal space. If you don't know us, I'm Rachel, he's Wills, and we are Postcard and a Pint. Oh, and the sexy one's Ella. Now let's get this vlog started and tell us, how was your journey to get there? We arrived here yesterday from Sitges via two trains and a taxi. It was an all right journey. We checked into our hotel. Let's see what we can find to do. Directly across the road from our hotel was the House of Illusion, where Ella works. We'd been on trains all morning, so the first stop was food. Salou is much more your pictures for the Brits type of place, but we're not complaining. It was a hearty lunch to say the least. Cheers, the Lassa restaurant. Then it was a quick look at the beach, a quick look at some fountains. It was all looking very nice. We then walked all the way down the front to the north end of Salou. There seemed to be a fair bit going on and we found the bus stop that would take us to the airport. We hope the police aren't needed too much in Salou. On first impressions, it seems to be a typical Spanish holiday resort with all the tourist shops to go with it. There are quite a few booths where you can book boat excursions. Ooh, we do love a catamaran excursion. There's a noddy train that runs regularly along the front for those who don't like to walk. At the end, there seems to be a happening place, but we were here to find chaplains, as Ella has a late night show here tonight. Found it! Then it was back up towards our hotel. So far, so good. Time for a swim and a sunbathe. Thoughts on Salou, Rach? Not gonna lie, it's a little bit like Blackpool with a bit of sun, but it was a pleasant walk, but we're here to see Ella. Then we came back, got ourselves all showered. Oh no, we had a little swim in the hotel pool first. Got ourselves all showered and headed out. We went for a walk on the pier and booked ourselves onto an afternoon catamaran trip for the next day. Thanks, Mrs. Lady, we'll look forward to that. We thought we had a six hour wait until the chaplain show, but at the last minute, we got into the House of Illusion. Now we weren't gonna go and see that show last night, we were gonna catch her in a cabaret bar, but that show wasn't until half 11 at night, past our bedtime. So she managed to get us in on the drinks only package. We went to see the show and we really, really enjoyed it. And the drinks only package is where the night went just a bit wrong. The House of Illusion is a theater and dinner show experience. It also has an external bar and restaurant. Cheers. Now, where's the lovely Ella? Hello. Hey. Hello. Thank you. You okay? Yes, it is. <laughs> there she is, looking as gorgeous as ever. Hello. Hello. Right. Evening, ladies. Have a good show. Whilst people eat their meals or have their drinks, there are magicians wandering around performing close-up magic. Is it his mouth, mister? Yeah, his mouth. Yeah, up there. Amazing. We'd ordered food from outside and that was brought through to our table. We possibly should have had more chicken in a wine glass and less wine, but more about that later. There's time for a little more table magic. And then, it's showtime. In this show, Ella does a bit of dancing, but it's more assisting illusions. This magician is Matt Edwards from Britain's Got Talent fame. He was excellent, but not as good as Ella, obviously. This magician is Rodney James Piper, and he owns the place. He puts Ella into a box, does some magic-y stuff, and before you know it, Ella is standing on the bar. Ah, proud auntie moment. There is a singing and dancing only show here twice a week for those who don't like magic. We'd love to have seen Ella in that show too, but sadly we weren't in town for long enough. We'd really enjoyed Act 1, and during the interval, those on the meal package were served their main course, and there was more close-up magic being performed. Wills went for a walk, and you'll never guess who he bumped into. Hiya! Welcome to everyone. Hope you enjoyed this little video. This is House of Illusion. A house of mysteries. Wonder. Magical. Come here, let's show you guys. It's only Rodney James Piper, the boss man. Sorry, just until now, everyone's just eating. While the stage is paused, she's coming to the show, come down and see it. I'll tell you what we'll do. Wait two seconds, I'll get someone to show you something really magical. Okay, watch this. Two hands. Down here. Watch my hands. I'm your green light now. It's the best show. And I can even. Oh, it's weird that, isn't it? <laughs> Here we are at the House of Illusion stage. 
so cool. And in case you're thinking, that's a child, they don't half start them young there, you're correct. That's Harry Merlin Piper, Rodney's son, aged just 14. And he's the youngest ever winner of the Magic Circle's Young Magician of the Year Award. He certainly inspired this little wizard. Not that one, though. After a few more tricks at the table, it was time for Act 2, and a hoop act. Ooh, that looks dangerous. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jade Elsa! Now for a magic trick based on a game of heads and tails and a quick dig at the Scousers. There you go, near Liverpool. Macaroni and Coke. My name's Jan. Then it was time for a girl to go into yet another box. I honestly can't remember what happened here. I take it she disappeared again. The all-inclusive drinks were now affecting our ability to human. Anyway, she seems to be back again. Nice punch, Ella. Then it was time for the bows. Well done, Ella B. And top of the bill tonight, Mr. Rodney James Piper. Well done, chaps. We thoroughly enjoyed that. Although we may be a bit befuddled by now. But there was to be one more sting in the tail. A box with predictions of how the night would unfold, delivered to the stage by Ella. But who cares, eh? Say hello, Ella. Hello. She greeted her fans and we slunk off home to try and sum up the day. It didn't go well. What's the, what's the place called? House of Illusion. House of Illusion. We've just seen to we've just been to see the house. <laughs> it's pitiful. Try again. <laughs> we've just been to see the House of Illusion show with Ella and it. I absolutely loved it. Rodney, proper old school, amazing. We're too drunk, but we're gonna say cheers and we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers! Morning. I'm not gonna lie, we're glad it's a dull day. Tell us how it all went wrong, Rach. We went to see the show on the drinks included package. We asked for a glass of wine and a bottle of beer, but they don't do that. We ended up with two pitchers of beer and two bottles of wine. So it was a slightly messy night. Anyway, we had great fun. Now it's the next day and we've got 48 hours in Salou. Let's see what we can find. Oh, let's see what we can find to do. Well, first off, it's a hearty breakfast for the pair of you. I tell you what, whilst we try to resemble something human once again, here's the room tour we did yesterday. Enjoy. We've gone for Hotel Planus in Salou for the main reason it's opposite to where Ella works, and that's why we've come here. So this is room 410. Come in and have a look. So it's a nice long corridor, bit of a bathroom in there. Looks clean, looks fresh, nothing overly fancy but it's clean that's what counts um <laughs> i did ask for a double but they obviously decided that rachel moles weren't going to get on this time so we've got a bed each weird um loads of floor space looks like a tv sniffs like a tv fridge oh fridge fridge indeed that's good we can put our water into there we even have a little balcony so which is quite nice Little balcony. Over there is House of, of Illusion where Ella works and there's still up in the engines going opposite. We have no idea what Sulu is like, but we're gonna give it a go. And yes, yeah, probably the worst room tour ever, but that is our little storage, 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 down the corridor of our house. And we've got quite old fashioned wardrobe, safe, a couple of drawers. And then next blankets, not you're gonna need that in Spain in August. And a little sort of suitcase, put it on there, shoes underneath. And that, my friends, is our room tour. We're gonna to unpack now and go and see a bit of saloon. Right, how's breakfast going? Having loaded up on some great hangover food, we felt human once again. Let's explore. This time we thought we'd try the opposite direction, and this beach was certainly a lot quieter. There weren't as many shops or restaurants this way, but the few that we saw looked nice. So sum up this walk, Rach, and try to pull focus wills. So this morning we've headed south along the beach, absolutely beautiful beach, a little dog section as well, which is really cute. And talking of dogs and cats, sitches, not a single cat did we see, we've seen two in Salou. So Salou's winning on the cat front and the animal front in general. To be honest, 
South is just high rise after high rise after high rise and the further out you get, the worse repair they are in. So not a lot to report yet, but we're walking back towards where we live and then we'll head north. This one did remind us of the first Inbetweeners movie. Then walking back we found something historical. We have no idea what it was as it was closed, but over the road you could buy an inflatable alligator, so all was good in the world. We saw a few more cats. Stopped at a Chiringuito for some soft drinks, feeling better, Rach? And got ourselves ready for our catamaran trip. We first had to get a water taxi to Cambrils to catch the catamaran. As you know, we love being on the water, so this was no hardship. Happy days! Then 30 minutes later, you're in Cambrils. And this looks a lovely place, definitely more Spanish than Saloon. Here we boarded our catamaran for our trip to Cap de Saloon. Then it was anchors away, a quick safety briefing, and I was bopping the vibe. Are you enjoying this, kids? Thought so. The wind had really picked up and the sea was pretty choppy, so we decided not to swim this day. Wills had a beer and still suffering, it was a Coke for me. Included in the price of the trip was lunch. That would be a burger and chips. Loving it. These seagulls obviously wait for this boat every day. Yep, chips for lunch again, lads. Are you enjoying today, Wills? How's the burger, Rach? Lovely. Then we made our way back. Now one piece of advice we can give you about catamaran tours. Sitting on the netting might look cool, but if the wind picks up, you'll get wet. Very, very wet. We got some good views of Porta Ventura though. Then it was back to Cambrils. And this guy had been brilliant. Thanks very much. Oh la la, I'm on TV. <laughs> you certainly are. A bit of an update at the end of a lovely afternoon. Oh. Do excuse the noise, they seem to be building a hotel opposite. We went on a catamaran ride, as you saw. It was good fun, wasn't it? It was really, really good fun. We got a water taxi from here to Cambrils. About half twelve. Got on to the trip. It was only a three-hour trip. They took us to Cap de Salou, which is a bit weird, because we had to go half an hour one way to then sail past it. They dropped anchor. We didn't even swim. We didn't. We were a bit boring. They were only letting people off one way on the catamaran. There was queues. And I think I've turned into a water snob. Um, if it's not Sardinia and turquoise. Um, I just didn't feel like it, to we be honest. We had a burger, though, didn't we? We had a burger. We came burger, back. A bit of booze. Yeah, it was... I didn't. You I'm, didn't have I've still been destroyed by uh, suffering from that last place night. over there. And Cambrils looks nice. It we does, might yeah. even go there tomorrow. So was it worth it? I think it was a little bit overpriced. We paid 40-something euros each, yeah. yeah it was I think it was a little bit overpriced for what it was. 35 would have been, yeah, would have been I, all right. is what I'd have paid for it. So here we are. I still don't know about Salou. No, we well, haven't really explored no. it. We're going to check it out properly tomorrow. Yeah, we walked up, um, well, down south this morning, as you saw. We're going to go, we're meeting Ella for tea tonight. tonight we're going to pick her brains. Yeah. Maybe there's a part of Salou that we've missed. But and we're going to explore tomorrow. Tomorrow so we'll we're going to walk a little bit more into it. At the moment, it's okay. It's, it's all right. It's, all right, it's yeah. not really got a place. I've just hit my mic. I'm so sorry. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it hasn't really got a place in my heart at the moment, but maybe we've, we've, still got we've not now. found the bit. So we're off out now to meet Ella. Before we do that, I just oh. want to show you this. Oh yes, he's got war wounds. You've got to, you've got to watch our citrus vlogs about yeah. the fireworks. Look at that. Look at the state of my arms. Yeah. We can, That's all from the fireworks of the... We will insert some close-ups of his shocking arms. Yeah. Right. Enough said. Enough about you. All right, we're off now to get our tea and meet Ella. Just by the House of Illusion, there are some grand older houses. Sadly, these peter out quickly and you're back to high-rises once again. Ella had recommended Goretti. We had a table booked there for eight, so it was time to meet for a pre-dinner drink. Drink all done, it was back to Goretti's. The menu was full of tasty Italian food. So it was pesto pasta, some salmon, and ice creams as big as our heads. Top meal. Thanks, Goretti's. We then walked back towards the House of Illusion. And at night, the fountains are all lit up and they dance. We decided to have a nightcap at the Terrace Bar at House of Illusion. 
A, because it's nice, and B, because Ella gets a discount. Cheers! And that barman was on the Ukrainian Love Island, no less. Top night. Morning! That was a really fun night, but we feel good. We're bright and breezy. We've just had breakfast. And today we're going to go and explore the other end of Salou. So feeling much better than this time yesterday, and with no need for a Mackey's, we headed out to try and discover more of Salou. We learned that you could buy fridge magnets, but there wasn't a sight of a Christmas decoration. I mean, you can buy a devil with a pop-up pecker, but no Christmas decorations. Inappropriate t-shirts galore. Then an appropriate one, but still no decorations. Salou, sort it out. We definitely do one of these tours if we stayed here again. And we're glad to see you have an alley hub, complete with a poo launcher game. Perfect. Hmm, I'm still not feeling Salou. Let's have a pop stop and regroup. Over to you, Wills. We've just stopped for a quick pop stop. We've come to the end of the strip. We're in a place called the Old Black Bull, which is a kind of old British pub type thing, been established since 1977. It's all right, actually. It's a very friendly sort of atmosphere around here. There's not a huge amount open at the moment because it's still only about 11 in the morning, but it's all right. It was a lovely pub and had great reviews. If I bought that, I really would be Indiana Jones. No, you wouldn't. Moving on, we found a park. It was only small, but it was nice to see a green space in the middle of all the hotel blocks. Back to the seafront we go, and we have to say, the restaurants at this end of the strip look really nice. Over the rainbow zebra, and does anyone fancy the beach today? Ah, all of you. Wow. We've just come to the nice quiet beach. Yep, that's a busy beach. There's a lovely boardwalk at this end of the front, so we did that. You'll also find some statues at this end of Salou. Apparently, that's James I of Aragon, and this is three kids playing in the sand. We walked around the headland to see if the beach around the corner was any quieter. Uh, that's a no. Back around we go. And now it's... Time for a coffee and water stop. OK, Will's had a beer. This was a lovely place to sit and watch the world go by and watch 45,000 people sunbathe. Now, our plan had been to have a beach afternoon before watching Ella in the show tonight. We quickly decided that this beach was a no-go as it was ram jam full. And they want you to exercise. Uh, no thanks. We'll have a panini instead. Update, please. We're all back and changed for the beach now, and that was a lovely morning. I really enjoyed that. It was fabulous. It was nice. We Quite went hot. down to the north end and went up the strip which I think is more open at night. It was a nice walk, the beach, oh my God. It was a bit busy, The Levante it? beach is packed. We're gonna to go to the beach this afternoon, but we're gonna head south to the other beach, which should be quieter. Yeah, On the hopefully. boat trip yesterday, we saw lots of empty beach space, but I've not seen a beach like that for a long, long yeah, time. Yeah. Salou, I still haven't bonded with it, but I can see its purpose. It, it's a lovely yeah. place. It's for families. It is for families. It's for families. Yeah. A lot of people come here to go to the theme park, Porto Ventura, the water parks. There's loads of water sports to do. There's just lots for kids to do. Yeah. And we've met people like multi-generational groups of 13, grandparents, parents, kids, so that everyone can enjoy the sun, the beach, yeah. the attractions it's, together. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. I just don't think it's probably the sort of place. No, I don't think we'd come, come back, back here. We're no. visiting some yeah. Day. But it's been all about visiting Ella yeah. and that's been fantastic. We had such a fun night last night. We had a great night last night. So night. this is our last day here. We travel home tomorrow. We're gonna to get a couple of hours on Sorry the beach. About the noise, yeah, by they're the way. still building a hotel over there. Uh, we're gonna a couple of hours on the beach, the quieter beach, have a last swim in the sea, get ourselves scrubbed up and ready. And we're off to House of Illusion. And we are tonight, we're gonna have the meal tonight and watch the show, which is gonna be a little bit different to the other night because uh, Rodney the magician is not in it tonight. Oh, yeah, I've got the master magician. Yeah, so Magic looking forward map. to it. So come with us to the beach. Yep, we left our hotel and turned right, not left, and there was plenty of beach for everyone. After showing our Welsh skin to the sun for an hour, we started to burn. Time to go home. We definitely recommend Platyd Aponen over the main beach any day. Come on, lad, it's shower time as we've another date with the House of Illusion. Look at us, VIP tonight. Pace yourselves, you know what happened last time. Where's Ella? There she is. Once again, have a good show, ladies. Tonight we were dining too. Cheese! And wine too, but we're pacing ourselves. They bring out an array of starters to share. 
it was all delicious. You'll be glad to hear we ordered a picture of Coke Zero too. Bring on the show. And our illusionists, Beth, Ella, Jade, to Twisted Sisters. And it's my privilege and honour to welcome all of you here tonight to our house of illusion. Tonight's show was fronted by Matt Edwards, as the boss man Rodney and his son Harry were now in Texas doing more magic-y things. The whole show had a totally different vibe to it, but it was still excellent. Some tricks were the same, and some were different. Do you know, Wills can do that one with a bath towel. Top work, kid. Ella got to dance a bit more in this version of the show, which was nice. She still had to do a fair bit of assisting though. And disappearing into boxes, this time with a giveaway t-shirt on. She then, as you know, pops up on the bar. Some fella won the t-shirt and we got our main courses. We'd both gone for the beef, and it was delicious. Wills bought a t-shirt, and all the birthdays in the house were celebrated. Happy birthday to you. Then it was dessert and act two. Take it away, hoopy girl. Next up, it was this one again. Heads or tails, please make your decisions now. Then a shadow act, which was great. Then Ella popped out of one final box. You go, girl. It's been a pleasure to watch you perform. Great show. Give it up for the one and only Miss Ella Brown. Good night. Good night indeed. And as we've paced ourselves, we can still remember the finale. Then it was bye bye to Ella. Well done, Ella. And home to celebrate how good we've been. Take it away, kids. And that's our time in Salou all come to an end. We're going home very, very soon. It's been great. It's been really it good fun. It has been it? really, really good fun. Yes, we were here to see Ella. Do let us know though, is there a part of Salou that, that we've, we've missed? missed? I know we haven't been to the theme parks, and if we ever come here again, we will come here, I think, to do. And we know there's a the few sites, there's a theatre, yeah. there's, there's lots of things. But is there, is there an area that we've that missed? That we've missed because we've been up and down the strip, we have enjoyed it. We feel like we kind of know it. Yeah, sort of. But it's been great, and seeing Ella has been fantastic. Yeah, I love House, House of Illusion. Illusion show last night was another great show. Yeah. Different Completely because different. it was fronted by Matt instead, mm -hmm. and the meal was good. Yeah, it's a good, good value yeah. night out, really good value night out. Really Three good. course meal, show, unlimited drinks, we paced oh, ourselves. Oh, no. Well, you didn't so much, I did this time. Yeah, that's what I'm looking like this Yeah, time. we went for a picture of Coca Zero and wine last night yeah. rather than pictures of beer and wine. Yeah, yeah. I paced myself much better and it was, I felt mm. a lot better this morning. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this um, Spanish series. Spanish series. Spanish yes. series, I guess. I got it out in the end. Are you sure yeah. you were uh, last night? <laughs> yeah, if you haven't checked them out, do check out our Sitches vlogs. Sitches or Sitches. Sitches. Sitches like right? Beaches. Rhymes with Beaches. Yeah, yeah. the Festa Mayor, crazy fireworks. He was bonkers. I think I've shown you already yes. when he burns. He's been in the sea now. He's healing. Yeah. And what else to do in Sitches when it's not the Festa Mayor? Hopefully yeah. we've Major. Opened, yeah, Major. Major. We've opened Major. your eyes to that place and opened your eyes to Salou a bit. Again, if you want a, a good family holiday it's with perfect. something for your kids to do, yeah. your older relatives to do, There's everyone. There's so many places to eat that yeah. cover all tastes. Yeah. As you said yesterday, they disguise everything up to <laughs> make, make, make British meals look Spanish. Look, to yeah, honest, but it, it's, it was still ham, ham and eggs and eggs yeah, and chips and whatever but down there. But it kind of... The strip up where we're staying, opposite House of Illusion, there's quite a mix of nationalities. We think that's kind of the old town yeah. bit, we think. think and then mid-strip, mid 
it becomes quite British. Lots of shops, yeah. lots of British pubs, that kind of thing. And then at the far end, as it starts to turn into Cap de Salou... It's a bit more resorty there, it isn't it? It looks a bit slightly posher. It does, doesn't it? Slightly posher down there. So, yeah, something for Probably everybody. Like anyway, yeah. So, OK, if you'd like this video, that would be great. If you hit that button and do the subscribe thing and all of that, yeah. that'd be fantastic. Follow us on Instagram. Oh, yeah. We've been much better on Instagram. We've been posting loads of pictures on Instagram. We probably will be rubbish on Instagram once we get back home I know, again. I know, But... Yeah. And we've no idea where we are next week. Absolutely no idea what not, the video's going to be next week. Not a clue. But there we go. Yeah. Now, as you can see, we haven't got a drink because it's too early for us. <laughs> but we will go back to the other night where we took yes, Ella out. Yes, we took Ella out for dinner and we even made her do Cheers to the Good Time. So, so, thank you for watching and all of that. And take it away, Ella. As we say in postcard, the pint, Cheers to the Good Time. time. My mate's dog does magic. Does he? Yeah, it's a labracadabrador. Oh.